y'all welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome i hope you'll hit that subscribe button and come with us on our journey so today is day 13 of 90 using a different palette today i use the laura sanchez mood palette which i believe was a boxy or ipsy palette not sure which one to create this eye look if you want to see how i got this eye look and what my thoughts on this palette is and where this beaming highlighter came from then just keep watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you would, or a thumbs down, whatever tickles your fancy. So if you want to see how I created this look with this palette, then just stay tuned. Today is day 13 of 90 of using a new palette, and I'm going to use this Moods palette by Laura Sanchez. I believe it was one that was given in an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm. I happened to buy it online from somebody who was selling all of their BoxyCharm palettes and since I wasn't receiving BoxyCharm at the time that was exciting for me. Today will be my first BoxyCharm and uh, yeah so so I just primed my eyes with some uh, ColourPop Pretty Fresh whatever concealer Everybody's just waking up in my house. Lazy bones today. Lazy bones. Uh, okay. So. I do not set my concealer. I just make sure it's all blended in and dry. So. This is an interesting palette. There's really not a set color scheme in here. You kind of are all over the place. comes with a little brush. So let's go in with this right here first. And we'll put that in the crease. Just like that. Nothing fantabulous today. I have a fun collab coming up tomorrow. I have another one this week. I love collabs. Trying to tie in this palette a day and collabs is quite interesting, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. And then you get in so many new palettes. I'm trying to use old palettes. It's just a mess, I tell you. So I'm going to go in next with this red. It's like a pinky red. I don't know. camera decided to die in the middle of filming. All I did was go in with this shade in the crease. Next I'm going in with this red on the same brush and we're just going to put that directly in the crease and on the top of the eyelid. We're not going to go above the crease. Just like that. pretty. I like that shade. shade. Just like that. Things are starting to open back up around me. I'm not entirely sure it's a great idea but I mean can't be in hiding forever I just hope people can use common sense which I know is rare these days then I'm gonna go in with 
do I want to be crazy? Do I want to be what? What do I want to be? Well, we'll go in with this yellow a little bit first onto the lid. The finger is better. Even though it's a mat, it's going on better with my finger. I'm just putting that all over the eyelid. Just like that. Then I'm going to go back in with that brush into the red and we're going to blend above that again then I'm going to go in with a clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend so we don't have harsh edges above these shades do take a bit to build up because they blend away kind of easy. But that's okay. Just build and blend. Build and blend. Then I'm going to take this pinky shade. And I'm just going to tap that right in the center of the lid just like that just in the center it's alright nothing really to write home about keep dropping my brush so I'm just gonna try to re-intensify the yellow a little bit here it's all right I don't know this palette is not impressive to me I'm going to go in with this highlighter down here and we'll just put that there. See if it'll help. Okay. I'm going to go in with this darker brown. Let's see if we can just darken up out here a little bit. It's very patchy. Maybe it's the brush. Let's go with a different brush. A little bit better. Would I pay money for this palette? No. I sure would. I've got uh, Dollar Tree ones that perform better than this one. Okay, I'm going to clean up and do a base and I'll be right back. We're going to use the highlight in this palette. And we'll finish the under eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a mixture of these two highlighters. Just dab into both. They're very, very puttery. Ooh, Louis, though. Look at that. Wasn't expecting that. Highlight to the gods. We need to use that. We'll pop that into the inner quarter. Oh, 
Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna do under the eye real quick. Just with that brown. Just like that. And then we're going to go in with some mascara, a little bit of black eyeliner, just on the inner, like that, I don't want to bring it all the way in, just like that. Only I would do that. And that is the final eye look. My thoughts on this palette is, mm, I mean, it's usable doesn't come out too bad excuse, excuse me sir I'm busy excuse me so anyway this is a final look using the moods palette by Laura Sanchez it's not my favorite I wouldn't pay for it but I do like the highlighters in it so that's a plus well ladies and gents until next time let's build each other up be proud of who we are and always stay beautiful much love